The following interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising. Hi there, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us here on Colorado & Company. I'm Denise Plant. Our next guest takes on a very serious topic, colon cancer. This is the second leading cause of cancer death that affects all different walks of life. This even includes Hollywood stars like Terrence Howard. Here's how he learned about the importance of early detection in a very personal way. Unfortunately, um, my mom was diagnosed with colon cancer at the age of 50. It was already at stage three, and she survived until she was 56. She should have, she should have been in a high-risk bracket, and should have been tested at maybe 35 and maybe 40. If she had been, she would have been fine. But she didn't, she didn't win that battle. Now, a lot of people may not want to go and get tested because they don't feel like they need to, and oftentimes, you know, and we don't go to the doctor that much. You know, we don't have the insurance. You know, our doctor's too far away. We can't go, can't leave work, you know. We can't, it's a lot that we, we tell ourselves that we can't do, you know, and, and we don't go until there's a problem. If you get the testing early, you can literally, you know, increase your chances of survival almost 90%. Dr. Lisa Perryman, board certified colon and rectal surgeon, shares more insight about the importance of regular colonoscopies. Good to see you, doctor. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me and bringing such awareness to this issue. Well, it's important. I mean, it's not a comfortable talk topic to talk about. Many people are kind of embarrassed when they talk about it, but share some of the, uh, the important statistics of Colorado here and colon cancer. You know, one out of 20 people are going to be diagnosed with colon cancer in their lifetime, and that's a very alarming statistic. Um, it's the fourth most common cause of cancer in the United States, mm -hmm. and it's the number two cancer killer, and it's a highly preventable disease. That's what is so important to me, is this is a disease that's ranked number two right now for colon cancer for for cancer killers, and we can bring that down to the bottom. No pun intended. Yeah, exactly. If it's preventable, why are people not going to get tested right now? I, you know, I think that there's several barriers to screening. Um, a lot of people think they don't need it. You know, they don't have any symptoms. They don't have any family history of colon cancer. So they just don't have the perceived need that they need to be screened starting at age 50. I think too people are concerned about the cost um, and is their insurance going to cover it? And most insurances now do cover preventable screenings at 100%. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. And, you know, people are embarrassed mm -hmm. too to get the screening done. I have so many patients say to me, you know, why did you go into this field? And oh, I'm so sorry you have to look down there. But it's nothing to be embarrassed by. We all have one. <laughs> and um, it's just another part of the body to me. Can you explain what a colonoscopy is? Sure. It's. Um, the best screening tool that we have for um, diagnosing colon cancer, and it's also a preventative tool, which mm -hmm. makes it so important. When you undergo a colonoscopy, you are sedated for that procedure, so you're basically just taking a nap, you're very comfortable, and then a flexible scope is used that's got a camera at the end of it um, to examine the lining of the colon looking for abnormalities. If small polyps are seen in there, we can remove those and prevent them from growing and becoming more abnormal and turning into a cancer. The test itself takes less than 30 minutes. That's great, and you're asleep. How yeah. has the test changed over the years? Well, there's been a lot of advances with the colonoscope itself. Um, you know, in the past, we would insufflate the colon to distend it so we can see in there with air. Now we use carbon dioxide, which the body readily absorbs. So it's a lot more comfortable coming out of the procedure. You're not so gassy and bloated and have to pass a lot of gas after mm -hmm. the procedure. Your body just absorbs it. The bowel preps have become much more palatable and um, easier to tolerate. 
Um, and there's been a lot of um, advancements in um, just fancy bells and whistles on the colonoscope itself to detect, you know, even the most minute polyps and get them out of there before they turn into anything right. You bad. say it's highly preventable. So let's end on a very positive note. How many colon cancer survivors are there in the U.S.? Um, there's about a million colon cancer survivors in mm. the U.S. and, you know, the um, number of survivors is, is bigger all the time because uh, treatments are becoming better all the time. And it's important to get that colon cancer screening because? It's preventable. Yes. It's a highly <laughs> preventable disease. Right. So don't be embarrassed. I know this is kind of something uncomfortable to talk about, but doctor will be here again. We're going to talk more. And this is so important to get your screening. Regular screenings can prevent colon cancer. Schedule your screening today. Tomorrow cannot wait. Take a look. The Colon Cancer Alliance. We believe that colon cancer. Colon cancer. Colon cancer. Colon cancer. Colon cancer. We believe that colon cancer is a senseless killer. A senseless killer. Senseless killer. That must be stopped. That must be stopped. That is why we're focused on empowering a nation of passionate advocates who offer genuine support for patients and survivors to raise awareness of preventative measures and inspire efforts for critical research, united in our fierce determination to dramatically impact the way society sees this devastating disease. We exist to make colorectal cancer the rarest of all cancers. Tomorrow can't wait. 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 Learn more about this highly preventable disease online. Go to ccalliance.org or call toll free 877-422-2030. Colon Cancer Alliance paid for today's segment. All right, next, Dr. Lisa Perriman shares the symptoms of colon cancer, when to start screenings, and how you can actually help spread the word with a very important call to action, right doctor? Right. We're gonna help save lives as we go to break. Take a look at some of the myths versus facts about colon cancer. The following interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising. Well, Dr. Lisa Perryman, she's a board certified colon and rectal surgeon, is back with us this morning to discuss symptoms of colon cancer, when to start screenings, and the Denver Undy Red Walk that you can be part of this summer. And doctor, I understand that colon cancer usually doesn't have a lot of symptoms. Are there any signs, common signs that you can share? Yes, and Denise, you said something so important just now, is that colon cancer, the most common symptom is no symptom at all. Oh, wow. So that's why people have to get in to get screened. But other symptoms could be rectal bleeding. You can't assume, you know, a lot of people assume it's their hemorrhoids that are bleeding. There, there could be something else going on. So don't assume it's your hemorrhoids. Get in and get screened if you have rectal bleeding. Other um, symptoms can be uh, pretty nonspecific. Abdominal bloating, um, abdominal discomfort, unexplained weight loss, unexplained anemia, a change in your bowel habits, mm. a feeling of incomplete evacuation. Most of the time it's diagnosed after 50, but when do you suggest both male and female, my aunt had colon cancer, she's a survivor, yeah. when do you suggest that they get in to get screened? Starting at age 50 normally for, because that's when the risk of developing polyps and, and cancer goes up. So for both men and women, age 50 is when we normally tell people to get screened. For African Americans, it's actually age 45 because they're at increased risk. And then certainly you would do it earlier if you had a family history or other concerning risk factors. 
Now, I understand news just came out yesterday. Doctors are seeing an increase at a younger age of colon cancer. Yes. Do you know why? Honestly, we don't know why. Um, there's several uh, hypotheses. We know that there's a risk um, of obesity causing colon cancer, sedentary lifestyle, poor diet. So these may be contributing factors because all of these things are increasing in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, but we don't know for sure. We also know that with younger people, they're diagnosed later. And I think that's because uh, both patients and doctors don't think of colon cancer as a young person's disease. But if you're having symptoms, then you need to get in to get screened. Absolutely. And if you'd like to find out more, we have a friendly website for you at ccalliance.org. Uh, ccalliance.org. You can just check it out today and get some of the signs, even though the number one symptom, like Dr. Lisa Perryman said, no symptoms. So it's kind of scary. Now, we all can help out call, knock out colon cancer because you have a fun event. Um, it's the entire month of March. The big event is Saturday, June 24th during the annual Denver Undie Run Walk. What can we expect? Boxers, briefs, what? Yes, this is a fantastic event. It's um, either a, a one mile fun walk or a timed 5K race. Um, it's put on by the Colon Cancer Alliance uh, to raise awareness about colon cancer and um, fundraising mm -hmm. to help prevent and treat colon cancer. And it is such a fun event. Everybody's wearing underwear, so you can come to this event and, and not be in trouble for running around in your underwear. Um, and the teams are, they, everybody has a very great name, a fun name. Our team is called the Healthy Heine, and you're certainly welcome to join our team. Uh, but it's it's a blast and, and it's very entertaining. Very nice, and I know how cute is this. There are uh, little underwear up here and it says, what does it say, you guys? Screen Support, this screen this, screen this too. How cute is that? I would imagine the pink is also for uh, breast cancer awareness too, kind of to spread the word, right? Yes, yes. Very nice. Remind us again, early colon cancer, it doesn't have symptoms, but go over in case someone's just tuning in right now, if there is a sign that might be happening, why they should get screened early. Yeah. If you have blood in your stool or you see rectal bleeding, um, definitely need to get in and get screened. If you've had a change in your bowel habits, diarrhea or constipation, um, abdominal bloating, feel abnormally fatigued or losing weight and you don't know why you're not dieting, or you've been found to be anemic, and um, your doctor's not sure why you're anemic, you need to get in and get screened. Those are the signs. Thank you very much, doctor. Again, support Colon Cancer Alliance this Friday, March 3rd, during Dress in Blue Day. Know your family history, schedule your colonoscopy, or encourage others to do the exact same. Colon cancer is the number two cancer killer, yet it's totally preventable. To sign up for Denver's Undie Run Rock, being held June 24th at City Park, visit ccalliance.org and then click on the Undie Run Walk. Then scroll down to Denver and you'll receive a $5 off during early bird registration now through March 26th. Colon Cancer Alliance, pay for today's segment.